Hey everybody, Sean Holsinger here from HolsingersFlyShop.com bringing you another tying video this week. This week I'm tying a dry fly. And again, this was one that a customer requested for me to do a custom order on and uh, he found it from a Davy McPhail video and uh, sent it to me, asked if I could tie it and I said sure. And I really liked it. I thought I'd share it with you guys. Really cool fly. Um, I know I've said it a lot in videos before for dry flies for me, I prefer to tie parachutes, which this is, this is a style of parachute. I just feel that they, um, when I cast them, they're more predictable to land the correct way. So I like to fish a parachute over say a cat skill or something, which the butt will sink on sometimes. Parachutes tend to ride more true. So I like to, I like to use them a lot better. So anyways, guys, this is a cool looking pattern. Um, I'm tying it in like a March Brown here. They're going to be coming off here coming up soon in my area. Um, you can definitely tie it as a sulfur. Actually, the order I tied it for, I tied it in March Browns and sulfurs for him. Change it to the sulfur EP fibers instead of the March Brown. Add a little bit of brown for the thorax and you're golden on it. Um, downsize it. I've tied them from 14s down to 18s and they work so give it a try guys here you're going to see the fly and then the material list to tie it Okay, here you see the Dynamite Harry in the vise. Let's get into tying it. For a hook, I'm using a Firehole 315. You can use any clink style hook, um, Daiichi 1160, something like that. This I'm tying in a size 14, definitely tie it smaller. I've tied them down to 18s, it's a little tough, but it'll work. Um, for thread, I'm using some Semperfly Nano Silk. This is 12 watt. And black, of course. Brown, whatever color you have. Next thing we're going to put on is the tail. For the tail, I'm going to use a little bit more than I normally would fibers of cocktail on. I want a little bit thicker tail here. And this is medium pardo, but use whatever you have. That's what I have, so I always use medium pardo, as you always see me using. And I'm just going to tie this on top. And I want this to go straight off the hook. So when I get to where it starts to bend around the hook, I'm going to stop there and come back up. That's a little bit long. I didn't realize that. So I'm just going to loosen that up a little bit, pull this into the length I want, which is about that far, and then tie it back down. Okay, next thing we're going to use is some EP fibers. This is March Brown. and you can see there the clump I'm using. It's not real thick. I don't know, half the width if you pull it a little tight, half the width of my hook gap. I'm going to sit this down on top of the hook here and I'm going to tie it down. Make a couple wraps about an eye length, one to two eye lengths behind there. That's about one. And I'm going to make a couple wraps, make sure that's good and tight. Then I'm going to make a couple wraps in front and Pull this back so I build up just a little bit to get it to stand straight up like that. And just kind of make it even in front and back of there. Then we're going to make a post with this. So I'm going to turn this into my parachute post and just get some good wraps going around there. Come back around the body some just so you don't lose it. And once you get a nice post made there, I'm going to come back out to the eye. Now I'm going to cut this off here a little bit long so I have something to work with later and get it out of the way a little bit. Now I'm going to come in and I'm going to make the body on this fly and to do that I'm going to take the what I had hanging out over the tail and I'm going to trim it at an angle. I'm just going to go slow and keep trimming it so it tapers right along with that tail and you get a little bit of body going there. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to tie on the hackle for my parachute and I'm using some brown hackle. This is a big long saddle feather. Um, you see it's brown but it ends up, it was off of a dark bar ginger saddle. So 
if I get some of the dark bar ginger eventually in my fly, I don't care. It looks great. So I'm going to tie it on the side right there beside the eye, behind the eye. And then I'm going to wrap it right up to my parachute. And then up the parachute. So I want to get it as far up there as I wrapped, like about an eye length up is about what I want. And then I'm going to wrap my way back down to the body, of the, to the shank of the fly. Next thing I'm going to add is some scud and shrimp gray. Um, sorry, this is SLF dubbing blends. And I'm just going to put some of that dubbing on there and I'm just going to finish off the uh, thorax on this. So I want to get it a little bit tight. I don't want it to be too thick. I want a nice taper going here. And just cover up the shank of the hook. So get a couple on each side. And then I'm going to bring my thread up to that post. So you can see I got a nice transition there up to that post. And now we're going to wrap our hackle on. So with a saddle hackle, I can work without hackle pliers. It's really nice using the big long saddle hackles, but if you just have a cape, put your hackle pliers on there and wrap it around. I'm going to go for about five wraps. And then what I like to do is I like to turn it over so I can see it a little bit better. I'm going to turn it towards me so I can see. And then I wrap underneath all of those hackle fibers. So as I come to the side closest to the camera here, I'm going to make sure I go down so I don't trap any fibers underneath. So I do about four or five wraps like that. And then what I do is I take my hackle, pull them up out of the way, and I get about two or three wraps behind the eye here. Now, two ways I can do it. If I get enough hackle out of the way, kind of like I have here, I can come in and whip finish. I don't want to, I want to be careful not to trap hackle. Whoops. Cut that off before I had, I didn't get enough wraps on there. I'm not really happy with that. So I'm going to go back in, make a couple more wraps. And then I'm going to show you the other way, which is using a bodkin, the hole on the end of a bodkin or a pen. And I'm just going to slide that right up over the eye. So I'm going to make one wrap. This is a half hitch tool. Going to go around one time. You can see I went around with my thread one time around the bodkin. And if you want to make a little better one, I do two wraps around it. And that makes a little better knot. So I get about five of those on there. And it's good to go. So I cut my tag ends off. Then I'm going to come in. And I'm going to cut my hackle off. Try not to cut other ones. Now, as you can see here... If I flip it upside down, I got some stragglers. So I'm just going to come in and these ones that lay down low, I like to cut them off so it all lays nice and flat. And that's all that's to it. Last thing we're going to do is we're going to make a wing out of this. So I'm going to take my post, bend it back a little bit. I'm going to trim this off at an angle where it looks like it's a wing standing up. So just a cool looking pattern. Gives you that winged effect looking on the water and it catches fish. So I hope you enjoy that guys. Alright guys, I hope you liked that video. It's really not that hard. A little bit of practice, you'll get it down. Um, have fun tying. If you prefer, do your whip finish around the post. I know a lot of guys, Tom Baltz in particular. Uh, if Tom Baltz says it's the best way to do it, I agree with him. It's just, I'm trying to show you a little bit easier way. Um, you know, that half hitch on the end there is an easy way to do, the, to do your knot and not trap as many hairs. So... Whichever way you guys prefer to do it, have fun tying. That's what it's all about. Experiment with your sizes and colors on this fly and get out there and catch fish. So if you need any of the materials for this fly or others, please head over to our website at holsingersflyshop.com. Until next week, guys, when I bring you another video, I'm Sean Holsinger.